your problem could be the display flex cable, the battery, or the uh, battery port connector itself, or the motherboard. But if it turns on and no display, you hear sounds but still no display, the problem could be the display flex cable. First you remove the first uh, end and then the second end. And then you put it back. If it doesn't turn on anymore, the problem could be the battery, the battery port connector, or the motherboard itself. Alright, let's do it. This tablet does not turn on anymore. And this is Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. This is 2014 and we are talking about now in 2022. But of course, I love this uh, tablet compared to any new tablet this time. Yeah, this tablet doesn't turn on. And uh, the, let's start by opening the tablet in this side. Actually, you can buy these tools so cheap. And you can see these tools, there is some small tiny i don't know how does how can i explain it that that if you just put it side the side it just slide through and that's what i use to open the side first and then i just put it there the side and then pull it outward slowly and slide it yeah and then i always in this kind of tablet i always start from the bottom in this side not in the other side because the other side has power button and volume there that's why if i will start there it might cause problem with this volume volume and power button there that's why i always start from the bottom bottom yeah all right this is the inside you've seen it already in the introduction of this and actually this process is all the same uh, way uh, so you check the phone tablets any kind of phone or any kind of tablets and this tablet does not turn on so let's start by checking the battery let's remove uh, the battery connector and what can we find here if it's all fine or not but have you seen it oh, I see something weird just a moment Let's take a look at it from my microscope and you will see what I meant. Now I will bring it to the uh, microscope because uh, my microscope is not so. It's a little bit in the other side and I cannot really bring the camera there. And let's adjust my uh, camera. By the way, the cell phone that I use also to take a video of this is also Galaxy Note. It's a cell phone, it's not a tablet, but Galaxy Note 10.1 or no, Galaxy Note 10. Yeah, here is what I meant why it's weird. If you if I if I tried to move I tried to remove the battery from here, and when I try to move it, it's something weird going on. It's also it as it's as if all the the port is also coming up. Have you seen that? It's weird. So that means the cable or the port from the battery, the port from the motherboard for the battery is not connected to the board. So basically, yeah, it's there not connected. I don't know what happened. It could be like, I don't know. Like I don't have any explanation about this, of this. Let's see. I tried I really tried to move it slowly because uh, if I will just move or remove it remove the battery so fast and so strong and it will break the uh, the pens maybe then I need or the, the port then I need to buy a new port and it takes time and it takes that's why I had to be careful slowly gently removing this so that it will not have effect on the uh, charging port or any sorry the battery port from the motherboard let's uh, let's try to take it a little bit 
uh, it's a little bit difficult i'm sorry uh, uh in this way maybe uh, uh, just a moment just a moment we can do this we can do this yeah we do it slowly here here is ground so i think it's fine uh oh moment yeah here yeah, maybe here let's try to yeah i'm a little bit i try to be careful because uh, so okay yeah it's going it's out it's out it's out the butter is out so yeah so from this time on i know the i know what could be the cause this one could be the cause why my phone is not turning on and it's not even charging because of this it's not connected oh wow it's really messed up all of the pins are out all the pins are out yeah and i will show you also one reason why it is easily uh get, be broken i don't know maybe it could be so hot or maybe you always remove the battery and put it back or remove it or it change the battery and then you i don't know but i will show you another i also have another kind of battery port i will show it to you later the the, the comparison but now let's try to uh, i try to so to to zoom it so that you can see what i really meant look at this all the board they are not connected with the with, with the, the port is not connected with the board what's going on look at that so free yeah. <laughs> what happened yeah and this time i will show you another one uh port uh, that's why i told you please be careful because if you break it then you have to order a new one and this one i have it from the uh, the past because the other one it was broken already that's why i need to I needed to, to change it why is it so fragile because it has it this pen all on this this uh the connector the the pin holder so to say for this port is only two only from the right and only in the right and left besides the five pins this uh, in the back you can see what i meant yeah this is that's why it can easily look at that only the two and it's just very tiny that's why if you put so much force on it while removing it because it's difficult to, to to remove it then you will get screwed or then then you have to change new one and then it takes time you have to order it you have to wait weeks maybe to order it i uh, take more time that's why if you just be careful and gentle opening it it will it will just pop up or open it so fine so that's the cause if you you know already you can just pause or stop watching this video or watch video later on because in the, from this on i'm just trying to uh so resolder resolder it and if you are if you want to watch you are welcome also but uh there is also another thing that i want to show you why I, I show why i'm showing you why i'm where why is i uh while i'm i'm soldering this because i want to show you uh something else later on uh after you solder this yeah but first let's solder it from here actually you can solder it from any uh, anywhere you want you start you can start anywhere you want but let's start from here from here and by the way with this kind of board there's also a board that there is a a metal shell behind this board and this metal shell sometimes if you are not careful the solder will get stuck into the metal shield also that's why for me uh, sometimes i just use very fine and thin soldering iron for this and and 
I keep uh, try to slowly and, and the uh, gently so, so solder it because it will also stick. Look at the behind it. There is also some some uh, parts there. If you if you not careful, maybe the, the 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 solder will just go there in the parts and then instead instead now you only have problem with the port. You have problem <laughs> more problem later on. That's why you have to be careful. And usually, if they have a cover or a plate or a shield there, I remove the shield so that I have more space. Or, or sometimes I don't remove the shield. Sometimes I remove I, I, I remove it, but it depends. But for me, I, I, I it works like this that I remove the shield. Or yeah, just be careful that it will. That, uh, especially if you don't, if you dare, if you are not uh if you haven't tried soldering before don't worry you can do it don't worry just do it slowly do it slowly and also the heat be careful if you did if you haven't a solder before pay attention with the heat because if you use too much heat it will melt the plastic the port is a plastic and sometimes you you based on my experience i had it many times before that <clears throat> i was so focused on i'm sorry i was so focused on the pens soldering the pens and i forgot that the solder my soldering iron was already in the plastic and it got burned or let's check it here uh, it looks fine they look fine after i solder i always check it again if Oh, 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 this one is not, is not, this is what I meant. You have to check it carefully, everything, every pens, so that you will not have a double work, so to say, later on. So this one moves. So, so I have to scratch it. This is always what I do. I have to scratch it, scratch it so that when I put solder there, it will easily uh, stick then. So I have to scratch the board, so to say. Not the total board, only that part that close by. It's just a little bit, slowly by slowly. The secret of this is slowly and gently. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, I'm also still always practicing. That's why it's, it's for now, I, I learned many things. So it's all right, don't worry. And let's clean it. Let's just clean it with alcohol. Or you can clean it with uh, uh, gas, maybe I don't know, but because they don't have they don't have uh, water on it. But for me, I use alcohol; it's better. Yeah, and let's put uh, soldering. Uh, what is it called? Solder paste, mm, solder liquid. Yeah, solder paste maybe. Yeah, let's put it a little bit just enough for just enough for that part and then resolder it again now again if you if you, you you can stop watching this already and do do your uh, start doing yours now because this is what I'm doing just putting it in now let's start cleaning so that it also looks good and it's not doesn't look messy it's clean i always use a q-tip for the ears my wife is mad at me because we don't always <laughs> i always use the q-tips hey where is my q-tips i need it i'm sorry i also you needed it <laughs> yeah this is uh, the the difficult part, the not difficult part, the messy part, cleaning it. Oh, it's I hate cleaning it. And look at this. Uh, I didn't even remove the board. I didn't even remove the screen. I didn't even remove anything. Only I only remove the the battery because when we, I think it also the same goes with other phone or tablet, Samsung, Sony, or any kind of phone, maybe or tablet. Once you, before when you are removing the battery connector you have to be careful slowly and gently and 
observe it, especially if your phone or tablet is not turning on. Maybe it could be that the problem is there. The problem is in the, the, the port. Could be. I, I won't say most of the time, but I would say it's possible. And more to say, and, and it happens uh, not a lot, but it happens often that the problem was only the connector. Maybe it depends what kind of phone or tablet maybe you have, but this one, okay, this, let's check it again. It looks fine. It doesn't move anymore. So I'm quite sure if I put it in and, and if it doesn't turn on, the problem is not from there. Because I know it's solid, so strong, solid. So let's look at that, it's not moving anymore. Yeah, as I've said, so if I put it in, the, the battery, I will put the battery in, and still it doesn't turn on, I know the problem is something else. There is another problem besides this. I know this is not the cause of the problem this time because we fixed it. But if you did not check it and you or you were not sure, that means uh, I had do I have to remove it again and open it and you have to it, it will test most time for you. And now let's I put the the battery back again and it looks good and let's plug the uh, micro micro USB charger and let's see yeah it's charging let's try it again time let's see again yeah it's charging it's even 55 you see it's 55 percent now but doesn't turn on so that means our problem was there in the connector because the, the battery has supply on it but it doesn't is the connector is broken that's why it doesn't go to the board now we saw i think we solved the problem let's turn it on it's charging we know but will it turn on i believe so let's try uh, this slowly here is a bit difficult if there's no button Ah, it's, it's on. So the cause was the battery port. So you need to uh, resolder, resolder it. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe for more videos to come. Bye.